Welcome back, friends and DGens. I just returned from Vegas after playing in the World Series of Poker main event. Are you getting ribs? This is the annual event that I look forward to the most every year. And let me tell you, this trip almost buried me. With a record-breaking 10,112 entries, I faced off against some of the most competitive players in the world. I was at risk of being eliminated for most of my run, but against the odds, I still played better than ever, earned one of my biggest payouts, and had the greatest poker trip of all time. There's a lot to cover in this story, so buckle up. I'm Mike Reardon, part-time poker pro, and this is my World Series of Poker main event. <laughs> This trip started off with a huge misstep right away. I booked a seven night stay at Planet Hollywood for 900 bucks. Now I could have gotten a room at Excalibur again for only $600, but Planet Hollywood was right next door to Horseshoe Paris where we played the tournament. And also, Excalibur is disgusting. Planet Hollywood was way better. Hell yeah. I planned to start the tournament on July 4th, so I'd have two days to edit and upload a day one update video before returning to play day two on July 7th. After checking into the room, Hell yeah. I hustled next door to Paris to buy in for tomorrow. Ooh, it's hot. That was when I first realized something was wrong. I didn't have the $10,000 cash to buy in. The money was still in my checking account back in Michigan, and there was no way I could pull that much cash out in time to play. After Kayla apologized for not reminding me to go to the bank all last week, the lovely cashiers at the World Series reminded me that I could buy in on a credit card for the remarkably low fee of $398. Once I had bought in and racked up enough points to get upgraded to silver medallion status on my Delta Amex card, I met up with my favorite poker vlogger, Slow Poker, at the two five tables for a photo. After I paid Slow Poker the $1,000 we agreed upon for the photo, he invited me to play at his table and hang out for a bit. This was such a fun time. I felt like we were best friends already. I told him about this short sketch idea I wanted to include in my video where slow poker and part time meet up in Vegas for a predator style Son handshake. Bitch. And even though I didn't have the extra $5,000 to cover his sketch fee, he told me the idea was really funny and he gave me his number in case I could come up with the money before his flight leaves. What's up, Kayla? Thanks for watching. The next day, I felt great as I walked next door to the Horseshoe Paris to start the main event. On my way there, I ran into longtime friend of the show, John. Oh, part time! Son of a bitch! John and I chatted for a little too long because when I finally made it to my seat, I had missed my first few hands. Thanks a lot, John. The main event structure is like this. Everyone starts with 60,000 chips. Each day we play five blind levels, two hours long each, with a 20 minute break in between each level, and a 75 minute dinner break after level three. It's very slow compared to every other tournament. This slower structure allows players to be very selective with their hands. It's perfect for someone like me. My table was really tough. The most action I got on day one was from the two ladies at the table. In seat one was Vivian Saliba, a well-studied, fierce opponent from Brazil with nearly a million dollars in tournament caches and an icy stare-down that could rival that of Phil Ivey's. Vivian was a very strong and aggressive player, but it was nothing compared to Blossom in seat nine. Blossom was involved in every single big pot for the entire day. I don't know how she did after day one because she didn't get interviewed on the live stream like Vivian did. Whoa. Vivian was easy to bluff once I taught her my false tells. Yeah. And Blossom didn't like to fold any hands, so she was easy to extract max value from. Don't know I didn't realize it was a value bet. Part time. This hand is a perfect example. I flat when Blossom raises my big blind to 700. She calls my check raise to 2200 after I flop top two, and I wonder if maybe she's holding ace queen or ace 10. The turn brings a scare card. Pause. I know I entered some of the card details incorrectly in the hand replayer app, and they're clearly different than what's in the recording. I'm not gonna change them. The mistakes usually don't matter because my content is for entertainment purposes only and should not be used as a substitute for medical advice from a healthcare provider. If you see I made any more mistakes, just let me know in the comment. I'll fix it this time. Scare card. So I check call her 4,500 bet to see the river. And that's when we see the nuts. Aces full. I show Blossom the bad news after she calls my 5,000 value bet, and she shows me that for a hot second, I was in big trouble. She ended up turning trip jacks. Whoa. Oh my god. Part time. On this next hand, I call Blossom's under the gun raise to 700 with ace three suited. Seat five also called for some reason. 
I flopped bottom pair, and luckily nobody bet, so I stuck around. I hit trip threes on the turn and bet 1100 in a 3400 pot. Two callers stick around to see the ace on the river giving me the full house. I bet 3200 and only the button calls. <laughs> what a lucky run out for me. Part time. During the 75 minute dinner break, I had some overpriced sushi at Nobu, played Doom Eternal, and hung out with Josh from C3. Halfway through level four, I'm getting tired, achy, and a sore throat for some reason. And that's when I heard someone shout from across the room, Oh my god, is that Mike Gordon, part-time poker pro? And it made me laugh out loud as I spun around looking for the culprit. It was a dealer named Jose. He was cool as hell and he started telling me about some of his favorite jokes from my videos. Here he is dealing our table on the live stream. Look how excited I am. Just a few minutes earlier, I was barely awake. Part time. In the last level of the night, we're already at the turn in a four-way pot. I'm in the cutoff on a king high board holding king queen off. Jets opened for 3,000. Blossom called. I called. We get a blank on the river. Jets makes a 7,000 bet. Blossom missed her draw, so she folds. I call. He shows King Jack, and my kicker plays. We take down a beefy pot. Part time. Overall, day one was an outstanding day. I bagged with 81,000 chips before returning to Planet Hollywood next door to rest up. Day two is on July 7th at noon. That gives me two full days to edit the day one recap. And with that, I went to bed. I slept way more than I should have for some reason. <coughs> All the grinding left me in a haze and I was too drained to edit the day one video. But I wasn't too drained to get some lunch from Ocean One Grill. I think this was like seven bucks. Then I played the 555 PLO Mystery Bounty online bracelet event. I didn't win the bracelet, but I did win 955 bucks. Part time. Once again, I slept way longer than normal. I was still really groggy when I woke up, and this awful Vegas dust in the air was irritating my nose, hurting my head, and burning my eyes. But this isn't my first rodeo. I grabbed a coffee and a 30-pack of non-drowsy Claritin from the Walgreens next door to make my famous King Coffee. That always clears up my congestion and headaches and amps me up for the whole day. <sighs> All right, now that I'm alive again, I ran over to the Paris to play a little PLO. Nice hand, sir. Nice Thank hand, you. Nice After a couple hours, I got really tired again. And since the Claritin says not to exceed two doses each day, I just cashed out so I could relax for the rest of the night. On my way out, I ran into a longtime friend of the show, James. Part time. Son of a bitch. Day two of the main event is tomorrow, and I'm gonna be fresh and fully rested so I can play my best. I woke up at 4 a.m. because something is wrong. My throat is on fire, I'm congested worse than ever, my head feels like it's about to explode, and I'm completely drenched in sweat. I got up to use the bathroom, and I was so dizzy I could barely walk. I'm sick. Very sick. And this is just the beginning. I know this feeling means that over the next few days, my symptoms will become much, much worse. I struggled to get dressed and walk next door to the 24-hour Walgreens. The whole trip I was exhausted, dizzy, and nauseous, with a brain fog worse than any hangover I can ever remember. I bought whatever medicine I could find and swallowed one of everything. This is bad. You can sleep through day one no problem, but you have to win pots in day two if you want to survive. I won't make yes, you day two was absolutely terrible. To make things worse, my neighbors hated me because I couldn't stop coughing, sniffling, or recording voiceover. <laughs> Gotta get it together. I've got 10 grand on this game, and half of it's even my money. But I might seriously pass out. Can't quit now, because I'm a pro. Our time. Everyone's watching you. I can't let everyone down. Let's just make it to the dinner break, and then we can go get some mac and cheese. This is everything we have to start day two. 81,000 chips, 102 big blinds, 20 years of poker experience. COVID, fuck. fuck. Just play premiums, fold everything else. Fold, 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 fold. Gold, gold, gold. Hey, what was that? Ah, fuck. Hard time. I'm not thinking straight. I need to get another coffee. Where's my Claritin? <sighs> <sighs> okay, I'm still pretty miserable, but the King Coffee is the only thing keeping me from sleeping at the table right now. And look at that. I just want a pot. What did I even have here? It doesn't matter. I'll check the footage later. Hard time. Okay, stay focused. There's still four levels left today. We got a long way to go. I haven't played a hand in over an hour, so if I bet right here, I can probably take this down. Bet, bet. We gotta show the bluff, too. All right, let's try it again. Bet, 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 bet,
Ooh, easy money. Maybe I'll just raise everything. Oh, didn't get through that time. Shit. <clears throat> God, my throat is still killing me. Let's get another King Coffee. <sighs> oh God, I feel like I'm gonna puke. I wish I ate something other than medicine and chocolate covered peanuts today. Ooh. And dinner breaks down for two more hours. I gotta get something in my stomach quick. But the only thing I have in my backpack is- Waiter, let me get a coffee, coffee black. black. <sighs> this is either a really good idea or a really great idea. Hey, does anyone need a Claritin? What's that? No, more for me then. Get the goddamn hand replayer app out of here. I didn't write anything down. God, Jesus, did I just bet? What do I even have? I can't look at my cards, otherwise he's gonna know I'm a piece of shit. I don't know if that river helps me. Get that goddamn thing out of here! Oh, great, I lost the hand, thanks. I'm gonna take another Claritin. You guys want one? Hey, you guys look pretty smart. What's that? God damn it. I never opened it. I hate these things. Nice hand. What the hell? Hey, does he kind of look like George Clooney? What's that? What is happening? Why does everyone here look so good? Did I already ask if anyone wanted a Claritin? Oh, oh my god, my head is gonna explode! How much longer till dinner break? I don't want to be in here anymore. It's too hot! It's hot. Oh, now what are we doing? Oh, there we go, I think we got it straight. Alright, we're back ba God damn it, it's a chop pot! I hate this, I hate this so much. I'm just leaving for dinner right now. I'm just, uh, I gotta get out of here. Part time. I was feeling sicker than ever and boiling alive. I was thankful for the 75 minute dinner break because this was the worst I felt the entire trip. After I eat, I'm just gonna find a clean spot on the carpet and take a nap. When I finally saw the food they were selling, it made me even more nauseous. I couldn't eat any of that, but they did have something on the menu I could get. Coffee and buns. Fuck it. Thank <laughs> you.